Hi, I'm Steve Landsman, and I'm one of the nine members of the Better Space Committee. Just to let you know, the Better Space Committee's first meeting was August of 2017, and that was preceded with a few years of the long-term care team. So here we are, a few years later, ready to do our construction starting in January 2021. Today I'm going to give you a brief little tour of what we have planned for the new additions. This is obviously our current foyer. And what's nice is that we're going to open it up and push it out. The current activities area will be gone and the mailboxes will be gone. And we're not sure what we're going to do about name tags yet, but there will be no mailboxes. The porch will become a new hallway and we're going to walk over that way shortly. Over here is our current sanctuary. And you can see it's been taken over by our food pantry operation currently. This is not going to change at all other than the welcome room or the sunrise room will become a part of the sanctuary and it will no longer be a meeting room and there'll be a double door to the new wing. Over in this direction where we do have the welcome room, this will become our new library. The library will have a much more prominent area in the church. Uh, it'll be a little bit smaller but it will not be used for meetings. It'll actually be a library and we open when most people are in the building. Moving in this direction, that wall will remain the same. This wall gets pushed out. The mailboxes are gone and this will become a new coffee bar area and the kitchen will replace, be replaced by a meeting room. So the kitchen will no longer be here. New meeting room will go all the way back to the back wall with a door to the sanctuary. This area gets pushed out, and this becomes a hallway. This becomes our new hallway that goes down towards the, new, towards the new expansion wing. So we have this area, coffee bar, a door to the new meeting room, hallway that can be used for presentation tables, it may be used for a, if, if all things work out properly, it could be an art gallery. This remains, this is actually our stairway from upstairs that comes down. This cannot be removed, so this remains here. Moving out in this direction. This is all enclosed all the way down through here and all the way to this area. This will become, if things work out properly, a new deck or outdoor, air, outdoor meeting area. This is all enclosed. This becomes a new hallway. This is the sunrise room. Hopefully we'll have a double door here. And that door over there is our exit from, emergency exit from the second floor. This door remains the same, goes to the sanctuary. And right, ar right around here will be another large hallway going to the new expanded wing. This area, of course, the tree will be trimmed. The first room will be the, another new meeting room. As we go down this hallway and in that area out there, and walk with me if you can, will be our new general purpose meeting room. Right here will be a storage area, storage room. And out here will be a very large meeting room that will hold comfortably about 50 to 70 people for a seating area with round tables. It will have a drop down movie screen with sound and a portable stage. Uh, if we take the tables away we can have seating for about 80. This will accommodate 90% of all the meetings that are currently being held in the sanctuary will now be held in the, in the new meeting room. According to the architects, this will reduce our, our utility bills by about 75% of what we currently use when we open up the sanctuary for meetings. Going in this direction, right towards you, will be a new kitchen. We refer to the kitchen as a warming kitchen. It'll have basically the same type of kitchen we currently have. It is not a commercial kitchen. We don't have a need for a commercial kitchen. And that'll be in this area right here. 
moving back down the hallway towards the, this hallway to the building. Back through the doors again. This is an open area. Hallway. The first room over here will be a new laundry to take the laundry out of our current storage room, followed by about two or three bathrooms with showers to accommodate our homeless mission. Uh, also in this general area will be our new food pantry, which will be a walk-through pantry, so clients who are waiting in the general purpose room will be able to come through here, go into the pantry, shop, come back out, and then go back out our new entrance, this area, this is an enclosed hallway. So what, as you can see, hallway, laundry room, food pantry, kitchen, bathrooms, enclosed hallway here. This is our current choir room. We are gonna put a wall right here and this will become a new office for Daniel Williams. The closets on this side will remain as they are. And this hallway will be a hallway from there. That'll be, the door will be gone. And we'll go into our current hallway in this direction. This all remains the same. This is our current storage room. And you can see it's full of laundry and, um, and refrigerators and these will be moving into the new wing. So it'll actually be a very functional storage room. Going down in this direction, we come back around. Our current bathrooms, if we have enough funds, will be renovated. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Moving down this way to our current library, you can see again, taken over by the food pantry. This will become the new choir room and the bathroom in there will become a new storage closet, lastly. That's what we look like here. Moving back down in this direction, our current hallway will remain the same. Our quiet room is being updated and renovated. Pastor's office, nurse's office all remain the same. Moving down into this area, and our office where Destiny is remains the same. She's doing a great job of making it a lot cleaner than it used to be with better, better use of the space. And here we are back into our foyer area. So nothing is going to be happening upstairs. That all remains the same. The beverage area will be relocated to the coffee area. The children's educational wing and Ilda's area all remain the same. Nothing planned for those renovations at all. Thank you for your interest and time. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to come to me and ask me questions or anyone on the team. Thank you very much.